Welcome back innovators to another quick exercise with CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be modeling this here. To start off, we're going to start off by creating this base. Let's create a new component. Let's create a sketch and put it on the top plane. Let's start out by using the center rectangle. And let's add some dimensions. Hit the tab key for the other side and add the same dimensions. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. And let's use the extrude command and add some dimensions as well. Let's go ahead and use the fillet command for the four sides, excuse me, the four corners. And now we have it. Let's create a sketch and put it on this top face. Let's use the center diameter circle. And we want to make this circle 12 millimeters. We want to lock this circle into place. So let's add some dimensions as well. And now it's fully defined. We want three more circles, so let's use the rectangular pattern command. Select the object we just created. And let's drag it over and down. Let's make some modifications here. We want the quantity on both sides to be two. We want the top one to be 55 uh, millimeters in distance and the bottom one to be negative 55 millimeters in distance. And now we can finish the sketch. Let's use the screw command. Select the profiles we just created. Extent type is going to be two object. Select the bottom. And we're good to go. Next, we want to create this cylinder here. So let's create a sketch and put it on this top face. We want to create two circles and add some dimensions. Let's finish the sketch. Once again, use the extrude command. Select this silhouette we just created and add some dimensions. Let's use the extrude command again. We're going to rotate and select the inside. Drag the arrow down. In distance, we want to be all. Now let's select the front view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. We're going to hit the P key for project, select bodies, select the actual object we just created, and now we have some geometry to work with. Select the line tool, make sure it intersects this vertical line here and this horizontal line here. Let's add some dimensions to make the sketch fully defined. The full length of this line here, we're gonna make 37 millimeters. And the distance from this point to this point, we're gonna make about four millimeters. And now the sketch is fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. And next we're gonna use the rib command. Select the diagonal line we just created we we'll make it five millimeters in width. We're going to flip direction and now it's good to go.
We want three more around the sides. So let's use the circular pattern command. The object type is going to be set to features. We're going to select the rib we just created. Axis is going to be the cylinder body. We want the quantity to be set to four. Compute type can be set to adjust or optimize. And last but not least, just go ahead and give it a color. And that completes this quick exercise. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.